We are very proud of the fact that Operating Department Practitioners, or ODPs, have been educated and trained in Cardiff since the 1970s, and that Cardiff was the first centre in the United Kingdom to offer a Diploma in Higher Education as a pre-registration qualification for ODPs. In keeping with this foresight, the School of Healthcare Sciences at Cardiff University now offers a pre-registration honours degree for student ODPs. So who exactly are Operating Department Practitioners? ODPs are members of a young and dynamic profession who, although they have been initially educated to undertake professional, non-medical roles within the Operating Department, their patient-focused skill set, together with their flexibility and problem-solving abilities, have enabled them to extend their practice into a variety of acute care settings. ODPs may also be found working in intensive care units, endoscopy, cardiac catheterisation, maternity and emergency departments, where their skills complement those of our nursing and medical colleagues. There are currently 12,098 ODPs registered with the Health and Care Professions Council in the UK, and many more could be found working overseas in such places as Australia, the Netherlands and the Middle East. The profession has developed historically from that of the theatre technician role. As that name suggests, this staff group was largely concerned with the technical aspects of operating theatre work. However, the potential of this group was recognised in government reports in the 1970s and 1980s as a possible solution to a chronic shortage of nursing staff wishing to work in operating theatres. While recognising the need for technical expertise in the operating department, both government reports also emphasise the need for professionalism, caring skills and a patient-orientated approach to theatre practice. The development of these skills and attributes was integrated into the Operating Department Practitioner Syllabus and by the 1990s ODPs were also involved in such activities as care planning, post-anesthesia recovery and the administration of drugs. This alignment of perioperative nursing and operating department practitioner roles has continued with the result that most UK hospitals now utilise generic job descriptions, enabling ODPs and nurses to apply for the same posts in operating departments and other areas providing acute care. The developing professional status of ODPs is illustrated by amendments to UK legislation, which now specifically mention operating department practitioners. So what do Operating Department Practitioners do? The primary concern of all ODPs is the delivery of safe, high-quality care, ensuring that both the physiological and psychological needs of individual patients are met throughout all phases of their perioperative journeys. The day-to-day -day duties of ODPs may include the reception and identification of patients into the Operating Department, preparation of perioperative areas, working with medical colleagues to ensure that anaesthetic and surgical interventions are conducted safely and to the highest standard, taking responsibility for the recovery of patients immediately following anaesthetic or surgical procedures, and providing detailed handover of care to ward or high dependency staff. As mentioned earlier, ODPs may also be called upon to practice their skills in other hospital settings, for example in maternity, intensive care and emergency departments or as part of resuscitation or medical emergency teams. In order to prepare operating department practitioner students for the demands of clinical practice, they will normally spend 60% of their pre-registration programme in practice, working alongside qualified ODPs, nursing and medical colleagues. The academic component of the curriculum contains a theoretical basis underpinning the practice of anaesthesia, surgery and post-anaesthesia care along with infection prevention and control, anatomy and physiology, professional and ethical issues, resuscitation, research methods and evidence-based practice. Clinical placements for Cardiff University ODP students now range across the whole of Wales. While these placements are principally for NHS funded students, it has proved possible in recent years to place a small number of overseas students in NHS hospitals and some years ago the prize for overall best student was won by a student from Bahrain. So, apart from a well-established and respected ODP programme, 
why else might you want to come to Cardiff to study? The programme can offer excellent library and online study resources, along with state-of-the-art clinical skills facilities, including a mock operating theatre. Learning and teaching activities will be facilitated by staff who are both occupational experts and excellent teachers, and students will be supported by personal tutors, the Cardiff University Student Support Services and the International Office. Cardiff is a truly international university with students from many different nationalities studying across its numerous academic schools. In addition, Cardiff is a vibrant city that has excellent facilities for cultural activities, shopping and socialising. It has a strong student presence and can also offer ready access to places of interest and natural beauty, such as Cardiff Bay, the Brecon Beacons and the Gower Peninsula.